I don't know why I feel like yeah. we need the Lordy Wiper. Yes, we, we welcome you guys back. Yeah. Yes, we say welcome back to the show. And uh, we need to address something, something, something important. But before then, let me introduce our special guest on the show. <laughs> what? Yes, we have a special guest today. Why, why can't parts. you do without me? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this independence, Nigeria? I said, let me look the part. Because we don't have any other country. Yes. Whether you like it or yes, go to the UK, go to Canada, go to the US, go anywhere. Nigeria mm -hmm. is still our own. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, now. Mm -hmm. And, and since we started the show, Honey Pot has been cheering us on the side. Like you see, she looks the part, the cheerleader. Go, Niger! Niger for life! All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show today. We need to address something important regarding an episode that aired in August 2023. And that's why we have Honey Pot joining us today. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that's right. We discussed the past interview involving Nollywood actor Pat Atta, where he mentioned his relationship with Genevieve Naji. Unfortunately, our comments were interpreted in a way that we never intended. We want to take this moment to clarify that our remarks were not meant to suggest negative qualities that do not reflect the truth about the character or person of Mr. Pat Atta and his relationship with Genevieve. Yes, Pat Atta, we regret any distress our words may have caused. It was not our intention to portray you as dishonest or morally questionable. In fact, we recognize that your relationship with Genevieve was cordial and serious. We regret any implications that suggested otherwise, as we would like to retract our statements. As hosts, we strive to foster open and respectful conversations. We're committed to learning from this experience and ensuring our future discussions are more thoughtful. Thank you for your understanding. And to our audience, we appreciate your support and hope you'll join us as we continue to improve and grow together. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in and let's move forward with respect for all individuals involved. All right, on that note, Honeypot, I can tell you to get out. No, she's not getting out. She's just going to chair us from the sidelines. Mm, I, I, we're done. Uh -uh. Like, we've broken up. When you're talking to your ex, when she's I'm leaving the house. I'm talking to my sister, so you calm down. Oh. This family, respect. I, after waking up, As and <laughs> yesterday night, I was racking my brain. I said, ah, ah, tomorrow is Nigeria's birthday. How do we celebrate this birthday? Yeah, yeah. I said, ah, I've forgotten to give uh, Ketra something to cook for everybody. I said, ah. I did, I did not bake cake. I said, ah, what should I wear? I said, ah, let me go and look for... Is this, I said, ah, today only for what is ah? I said, ah, let me go and look for uh, something to celebrate. I now want my regalia. I came on this show. You are not saying what? Imagine. I'm mean, joking. Only for really oh, yeah. Show us, show us, show us your hey, outfit to hey, the side, hey, the other hey, side, the hey, other side. Hey, yes, hey, let them see hey, you. Hey, oh, you yeah, are now hey, catwalk. Hey, catwalk that hey, way. Go hey, and share us. Hey, Thank you so hey, much. Hey, it was a bye pleasure bye. to have you on set. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> the show continues shortly. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the show, guys. This is still East Splash on TVC. Mm -hmm. And it is time for the entertainment news, and we're starting with this one. Fred Amata calls out his ex-wife, Agatha Amata. Veteran Hollywood actor, movie producer, Fred Amata, has slammed his ex-wife, media entrepreneur, talk show host, Agatha Amata, for walking their daughter, Stephanie, down the aisle while he is still alive. Last week, Agatha shared pictures of Stephanie's wedding and a video of her walking her daughter down the aisle to meet our Caucasian groom, Aaron. The video raised eyebrows as many wondered why Fred was not the one to walk their daughter down the aisle as the former couple put a united front when their son, Oreva, got married in Nigeria last year. The veteran actor has reacted to the video in a lengthy post on Facebook where he described Agatha's action as an abomination, adding that it was a taboo on tradition, as there is nowhere in the world, in Africa, and even in Delta State, where it is allowed for the mother to walk a daughter out in marriage when her father is alive and involved in the child's life. In his post, the veteran actor questioned why the wedding date and time were hidden from him, despite his prior blessing. He also shared photos of when his daughter Stephanie and Aaron paid him a visit ahead of their wedding. He further wrote about his failed marriage and recounted his contributions to Agatha's success, specifically talking about um, creating the talk show Inside Out with Agatha, which he claimed made her a household name. 
He wrote, and I quote, The good wife. For over 20 years, I kept silent, desisted from any comment on my failed marriage, allowing the good wife, hoping the wounds will heal and a reconciliation possible. But for 20 years, the good wife pounded me, rubbished my reputation, belittling my achievements, exploiting my name for her selfish benefit. It was over 25 years ago that I came up with a unique idea of Inside Out with Agatha, a talk show with six informed and opposing points of view represented by a person with oratorial skills, now male, now female. We had gone to see a talk show by Regina Askia and Agatha wanted to be a talk show host. I told her not to worry. I will come up with something. It will make you be like Oprah Winfrey. And I did, ingeniously, end of quote. Ah. <sighs> okay, so this particular story is quite very fragile, especially for me um, because um, this is family for me. Agatha um, is, she's my godmother. Mm. Um, Fred Amata is an amazing person I've worked with as well. Mm. Oreva and Stephanie, uh, they are family to me. They're like my brother and sister. I worked with Inside Out for about two years. Then I worked with Rave TV for about seven years as creative director, producer, and uh, presenter. So um, I actually know the story, you know, behind the scenes, what has happened behind the scenes. But I wouldn't want to um, say much on it. I'm even surprised that this is coming out to um, um, the public the way it is coming out. Because for, for so many years, they've, they've talked about this issue. They've kept it. I mean, the one time it came out was when it came out on Hints magazine. I, I don't know if you remember when they got divorced earlier. Yeah. yeah but after that, they've managed to keep it low key. And I know that um, Agatha and Fred have a good relationship they talk you know they're they are friends so i'm surprised to see this the way it has turned out mm -hmm. um i thought that um, everything was okay um after all the stress and the trauma and they are all you know talking now and yeah. they're okay but um going forward i don't think i really want to say much about this because this is family issue and i don't know you know why it's gotten to this level but yeah it's sad to see this on um, social media. Yeah, I just hope it's something that they can talk about and sort out amongst themselves because, like you already said, it's a very sensitive issue. Diddy taking off Suicide Watch in jail. Embattled American music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, who was arrested two weeks ago for sex trafficking, racketeering, and kidnapping, has been taken off suicide watch at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. Diddy was taken off the extra surveillance and he has received visits from relatives during his nearly two weeks in custody, the law enforcement source told People. The music mogul was placed on routine suicide watch, which is common practice for high-profile individuals as they are admitted to a federal facility more than a week ago. During his court appearance, the prosecutors accused Diddy of running a criminal enterprise from at least 2008, which relied on drugs violence to force women to allegedly fulfill his sexual desires. Diddy's team of lawyers has filed an offer of $50 million for his bill, with the federal courts, and according to the documents, Diddy offered his mansion on Miami Star Island worth $48 million as collateral alongside his mother's Miami home to cover the remaining $2 million. But the court denied his bid for bond as he was deemed a flight risk. His team also pleaded for a house arrest with the condition of no female visitors. However, that condition was denied by the judge as well. Just so you know, if Didi is convicted on all three counts, he could face a sentence of 15 years up to life in prison. Didi remains jailed without bail in New York on the federal charges alleging he ran a vast network that facilitated sexual crimes and committed shocking acts of violence, using blackmail and other tactics to protect himself and those close to him. Didi, however, pleaded not guilty to the racketeering, conspiracy and sex trafficking. His attorney said he is innocent and he will fight to clear his name. Hmm. Uh, every day, more drama. Yes, mm -hmm. more drama. On the sideline, there were also two different ladies who came out to file different lawsuits again. One claims that as far back as 2001, um, he has been bullying her, he has been blackmailing her. And um, there was an issue, an episode at his house, and then he recorded videos of her after she got drunk and she was mm. drugged. 
and then he has been using that to blackmail her. And mm -hmm. in 2021 and 2022, she was going to his house at least twice every month. Mm. So there's, there's just been so many things coming up. A lot more people are talking. It's just getting messier. I mean, also, uh, there have been rumors um, that uh, in, in the, in where they're, he they're holding him, yep. that, um, there's fear that uh, he could be poisoned or he could yeah. be attacked. Um, I get that because, I mean, this case has a lot of high-profile individuals yep, involved. So, I mean, they have to place him under serious protective um, custody um, because uh, there's a lot that, I mean, even they said the tapes. Some tapes are even um, moving around. Uh, some hmm. people are getting it, getting a hold of it. So it's, it's messy. Um, the American entertainment industry has never been... Um, uh, the, the, in fact, the shock, the shock waves that is going everybody through the industry scared. right now. Everybody is quiet. Everybody ha. is, you know, everybody is even expecting some people to make some statements or or whatever. But I even heard that it's not just people in the entertainment industry. That some people that are also involved in politics and yeah. other parts of yeah, the definitely. industry of the world. So definitely. it's crazy. Definitely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's it with the entertainment news. Let's. Of course, because I know Wumi to realize she's not going to do it, she's not going to do it at all. And seeing the trailer gave me, you know, the validation that I needed, that that's a good movie. I'm here to see more of Queen Latifah. I am expecting to see what I have not seen before. I've watched a lot of movies, but I'm, I want to see more. I want to see what Wumi to realize has to offer. The entire process of making Queen Latifah was a lot of fun. Uh, Mumi is very passionate about the story. Uh, it was a pleasure working with her. Um, I think we've made a blockbuster. Audience will love it. And it's a record-breaking film. I already know that for sure. So I look forward to it. Personally, when I watched the trailer, I felt like, okay, this is action-packed and it's a mixture of contemporary plus the standard uh, Nollywood scenes that you would normally see for. It's action intense, full of suspense, full of thriller. And uh, this is what I expect of a normal classical Nollywood film and uh, I'm excited that someone like Wumi to realize is putting uh, her best foot forward to make this film uh, in partnership with cinema. Trying to bring this story to life was a lot of struggle for me and coming to have it done, it's, you know, it really gave me a lot of mixed feelings, mixed emotion. But aside that, I had the best hands to work with me. You know, my team were so amazing. So it was not anything so difficult for me doing, but I was just in my own emotion. I want to use this video to thank everybody here. We are just starting, okay? And to the cast and the crew of uh, Queen Latifah, this is our work, Fairy and me. Oh my God, my Kule, Kule, Kule has been amazing. Amazing guy. A lot of people are here, I cannot mention names. But trust me, I am grateful. Filming with me is, um, was very interesting. It was my first time meeting her on the set. I mean, pre the production. But um, working with her is fantastic. It's such an experience that I live for. And being honest, I'm glad this is part of my career work so far. I would say for sure that this is a picture perfect movie. It's an awesome movie, it's a great one. You're going to laugh, you're going to learn. So I wouldn't want to say too much. I'll just say, come out with family and friends to come and show us love, come and support Nollywood, and God will continue to bless you. It's Queen Latifah's season. You saw the trailer, right? So you can imagine how excited I am because if the trailer was like that, I wonder how the movie will be. I'm just very excited. I know that it's going to be good. When you have a team like that, it's, it's, uh, it would be actually ridiculous if it didn't turn out to be good. So I'm very excited to see what they've done. It was amazing being on the set because I'm right from the set. I could feel and I could see the intentionality, everything about it. You know, it's a well thought out project, and um, I applaud her for that. Toriola, she's a funny person. She's friendly. She's she's a lady of everybody, you know. So we love her so much, and that is why you can see the whole industry here to support her. Seriously. Trust me, I'm indifferent. I must say the honest truth. Just, I mean, the goal is just make it. But be plain and make sure you do it in a clean way. But to be honest, I'm indifferent about it. They're a colleague and um, I am so happy for her to be doing this on a large scale. It's, it's mind blowing. It's every um, filmmaker's dream to be able to showcase 
on a big scale. So I am happy for her and congratulations. I'm super excited about the movie because firstly this is our first cinema movie and I'm, and I'm so happy that this is coming out huge and um, success already. I expect nothing less than the best from Wubitorella because she's a fantastic producer from the YouTube and now to our debut on Netflix, on sorry, on cinema. I know she's going to need it on 100. Nothing, I'm not expecting anything less from her. Oh my goodness. That's the worst thing that can happen to anybody. I just, I, I just one thing, the question what? that I have. Why is it that when you're pressed, mm. you only get pressed when you're close to the house? And when you're close to the house, the pressure is worse. Worse? Like, why does that happen? Then when you're in front of the house, it's like the tank is about to offload. Like, what? Why? Why? We're already home. <laughs> Calm down. Like, what? <laughs> and, and the annoying one is when you now finally find the keys and then it's a bunch of keys that have similar keys. And it's crazy that, you know, like, there are certain people who they can't use yes. outside. Yes, so you're holding it so till you get always, home. They will wait till they get home before they use it. Oh, my goodness. People are trying. Ha. <laughs> How do I wait for people get home? The sigh of relief, you have to ask, are you okay? On that note, we say welcome to Social View, guys, where we're going to delve into the world of social media, which is loaded with every kind of weight and nastiness you can imagine. J. Paul, Mr. Flames, can I go on? Let's get it. Okay. So, Eriga has something to say, and he's in deep thoughts. He's saying, so, no pastor fit ton water to fuel. Oh my, just they miss Jesus. <laughs> yes, now. Yes, now, because it's miracles crazy. Happen. Why miracles when they happen again? Ah, uh, well, pastors have tried a lot of things, but this one, they leave it for Jesus. Jesus this is one, the we're master. Calling, we're calling out all those, especially the Indabuski. Mm. <laughs> do, do it now. Turn this water, water to foil. We but have you it. tried to touch the foil tank of your car? Maybe paste chosen? If the problem if you don't dry. For, I'm not going to be there. Okay, let me move on no. <laughs> And this one is telling us what the Bible says. It said, the Bible said, men provide for women. You they squeeze face. Now me right, Tom, wait till you they squeeze face for Holy Spirit. Because <laughs> it wasn't said by man. The Bible said that men should provide for women. So if I'm telling you as a messenger of the Holy Spirit, as a messenger of the Most High God that we serve, oh, that you, men should provide for women. You are not the messenger. I right. am, a, we are all pencils in the hands of the creator. God, so we are messengers all. of God. Yeah. So in this case, I am the messenger telling you that men should Good. provide for women. As he told you, he told me to. Quick question. Hope you provided well for an import. Hope that's not part of what money was never our problem. Uh, yeah. Money, I can't you look. No, prov provision might not be money. Can't you see how healthy she looks? Provision is not money and my sister has her money. Talk to her. Like. Money was never the issue. So what was the issue? Other irreconcilable... Ah, you two have joined them. <laughs> 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 Let's move on to this chat and this one. Hmm, thou shall not covet your neighbor's wife. A neighbor messages another neighbor saying, Hello, neighbor. You and your wife, they make noise, oh. And then the neighbor responds saying, I still there work. I never come back, oh. And then the messenger says, Ha! So thou has casted the one that has coveted your neighbor's wife. And then now the coveter and the coveted are in soup. Hmm. Jepa, what say you? Who sent this girl? 
No, no, no. Wait, wait. In his defense, they were disturbing him. So he didn't know if the neighbor was at home or not. Hey. Exactly. It's not, up, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. And I sent to me OG if you do. Wow. <laughs> um, moving on. This is talking about people when they are single and married. Men and women. Focus on the diagram above. It says women. When they are single, they are skinny. When they marry, they add weight. They are shubby, like they say. They say men, when they are single, they are chubby. And when they get married, they lose everything. I don't agree with this. I actually totally do why not agree you, with why this. Why will you not agree? Yeah. Because I have seen guys yes. that when they get married, yes. that's when the handsomeness, that's when their skin color, everything comes out because their wives are feeding them, pampering them, taking care of them, no stress, peace of mind. They married happiness and peace of mind. So I don't know where these men are, are getting married. And, you know, and then this too doesn't apply for women. It's not women that when they get married and they give birth, they don't blow up. No. It's not, it's not this. I will not agree. So, like you have said, I agree with you, but I you not see, agree. they didn't get married to women who the Holy Spirit was speaking to about men must provide everything. It's part of it. We know our job, just don't tell it's us. It's part of it. <laughs> and no, see, in this case, they said the Bible said it's not me. But you so said I'm just the a messenger. Was speaking to I, you. No, I said I'm a messenger. You see, that's the I am a messenger. Those kind of messages now uh -huh. dries the men. You see how this chicken is dry. That's not true. This one is not just dry. He has lost all his hair. He sure doesn't have cancer. You know when people have cancer, they have to scrape things. And if you don't scrape, the air will be falling off. So maybe that's what happened to this chicken. It's not the woman, please. <laughs> Let me move on, please. Women, we will not accept. We pamper them. We care for them. Let me take this last one before we go. This is all the people that are saying, who is giving you money? They said, Dangote started his business with 500000 that his uncle gave him. My own problem is my uncle. Why? If I flash him, he will flash me back. So, my brother, if you are basing your story upon Dangote's story that his uncle gave him money to start his business, pray to the Lord to find your helper. Your helper might not be your uncle, might not be your brother or your sister, might not be your father or your mother. Might not be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or your best friend. Might be a stranger. So, remember when we were young? Mm -hmm. How we used to talk about our uncles. Mm -hmm. I said, that our uncle is a rubbish uncle. He not send us money, he not do anything. Now, guess what? We are, are the, uncles. the uncles and the aunties. Yes, that's all I will say. So, do you know <laughs> why I'm talking about this with so much passion? I had an uncle that when I was in uni, mm. he would come and visit me from 11 p.m. You say, where are your friends from 10, 11 p.m.? You say, he's just coming to just with me and my friends. He wants all the time, fine friends. He will not give me things, but I'll tell my friends what I want. So when they say, what do you put one? They say, it. I'll collect it. My uncle made me open GT Bank account, saying that he can only do bank to bank transfer. Guess what? My account number became his contact details. Till uh, date, my uncle not give me shing. Bye. What's his name? Hmm. I don't want to cast him. <laughs> ah, no. Because I already have plans. I've sent him proposal or something. So let's see okay. if I will still chop. Okay. So don't let me cast him here. If he doesn't have materialize, if I will do Instagram live on his behalf. Call How about your him. friends and him? Are they still friends? No. Uh, I only, they were only, we were all just friends for, I uh, want to eat, want to buy these. So and they ate? It, we all ate. He prepared a they table. Eat. It was for me, big boy. So plus it's so I chop everything. Hey, I chop up. Hey, so he hey, no chop hey. anything. He no chop. He just had drink, you know. For me, I don't chop. I'm not really so chop. So he spent. He spent. So we had his money. <laughs> just give me my money. And it's a wrap on social bill, guys. Coming up next is what are you watching? We'll be back. <laughs> Sure, if you go bury our person, we don't come your own. It depends ah. on how the person is to me. Sorry. That person don't come your own bear. The person said, Come there. Sure, if you go in your own bear. I will go. 20 years old, man. Assuming if you don't have any quarry, I can go there. So, I mean, if there's one thing I love about Bonner, anything I love about him is the fact that you can't predict his next sound, what he's yep. going to sound like. I think that's one thing I also like about Rema, the fact that I cannot predict what his next sound would be. Mm. And they seem to give their yeah, 100 every other time. Yeah, they do. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for What Are You Watching? For those of you who enjoy watching movies or TV shows, this is for you. You have the chance to share with us 
what you've watched or what you're currently watching and you can do this by calling our phone lines or by contacting us via our social media platforms we are at tvc connect on x and at tvc entertainment on facebook using the hashtag e -splash on TVC. TVC. we'll be right back all right guys it is now time to hear from oh, by you, the way, you you by the way that's a brand new um video birth of a father from um billy eilish it's been coming under lots of scrutiny, especially on um, our fans are, are attacking her because they expected more from the video. Billie Eilish, if you don't know, she's used to directing her, her videos by herself. And she directed this one. I mean, in the past, it's been like one of the best um, things about Billie Eilish. But then she directed this one and it's been under a lot of scrutiny, especially mm. from her own fans. They're like, you know what, maybe it's time for you to just give this job to another director. But this song, Birds of a Feather, um, is making um, headways, is hitting all the... It's hitting all the charts in the UK, in the US, everywhere. It's a massive, massive song already. So one thing about Billie Eilish, one thing I love about her is the fact that she is not scared to say her mind and she will do what she loves to do. There are so many times she's trending on social media for speaking her truth, for speaking her mind, and then for always standing for what she stands for. And I really do love that about her. So question, do you like um, the tomboy Billie Eilish? Or the you know lady be billiard. See eh? Because I feel like she's such See, a lady. She's actually really beautiful. So so that's the thing with people who are tomboys. Mm -hmm. The same thing happened with Darko. Yeah. When she was always a tomboy, and then suddenly we see this gorgeous girl with. Don't Iris say don't Star say anything about because I mean. Um, OJ is still trying to heal from the. Oh, from that one. Because yeah. <laughs> I saw the gorgeous girl with Ira Star. I'm like. Are you sure that's Darko? So Billie Eilish yeah. too now did the same thing. And I'm like, Darko okay. was, was um, OJ's crush as well. I don't. I oh, think was. she's still his crush. Yeah. Well, she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> Billie Eilish as a babe is very pretty, and then as a tomboy, she's Billie Eilish. So yeah, I've, I love like this from Billie Eilish anyway. She's beautiful. Ha! She's hot. We'll have this conversation another day. I feel like sometimes some of the people that are hot, they like to hide the hotness. Mm. and come out as tomboys. Mm. And then when they now finally come out with everything, we'll now be shocked like, <gasps> so that's why you were hiding. <laughs> okay, guys, so now it is time to hear from you as we'll be taking your calls as well as reading your messages. All you have to do is tell us about your movie or TV series, what you enjoyed about your choice, the actors in it, and most importantly, your rating over 10. So uh, we are awaiting your responses, but in the meantime, let's talk about the movies we've been seeing. Have you been so, um, watching any movies? Um, so there's a new movie in the cinema called The Crow. Um, I had a bit, you know, because I, I know that there was a, I think it was a 1995 edition or a mm -hmm. 1996, but it was an earlier edition of the movie um, The Crow. Um, so it's actually like a supernatural kind of movie mm -hmm. where... Um, the guy died. Oh, wait, should I give you guys the... Don't spoil it. The Easter then. egg. Okay, but anyways, it's, it's, it, I thought it was going to give me like a Batman kind of feel, you know. Um, I was looking forward to it because, I mean, Batman, I mean, I think he's been a letdown recently. Um, this, this new guy that went from um, Twilight Zone. Um, oh, I yeah. haven't watched his Batman. Yeah, but this particular one, I loved it. Um, it was really good. Um, the effects were great. The storyline took a while for me. Like, I felt mm. like it could have been... It, it just took a while. It was a little drag. Uh, but it's a supernatural movie. A guy and a girl who falls in love. And um, the guy now, you know, he dies. He gets some supernatural powers. Yeah, he has to reenact revenge. Great movie, great story, great suspense. It's just... It was just a bit extra dramatic for me. <laughs> But yeah, it wasn't what you expected. It wasn't. So I ex the action sequence is great. Um, mm -hmm. I like the action sequence, but uh, I don't know. It just still gives me that gloomy feel. I think it's also the theme of the movie um, because Batman also has that gloomy feel. Yeah. Um, this one is called the Crow, but his own powers are you know from supernatural. I thought it was actually going to be an actual crow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. If I rate it, how would I rate it? I'll probably rate it uh, 7 over 10. Mm, nice. 7 over 10. Seven yeah, over that's 10. nice. Mm. Okay. 
So, um, let me take some messages that just came up on Facebook, mm -hmm. and then I'll talk about my movie. Mm -hmm. So, Dotson Olaiwala says, The Flash season 1 to 9 and John Wick. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell us the actors in the film. You didn't tell us what you like about it or your rating. Nah, we don't do that over here. Over here, like J. Paul just did. Mm -hmm. You talk about the movie, mm -hmm. tell us what you liked about it, what you didn't like, and then you will rate it over 10. Mm -hmm. Learn from the master himself, okay? No, I'm not. Ronti's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the master. Ah, but you're teaching them. So right I'm now, the instrument. Oh, wow. OK, Roti says, train to booster. And Tifel Wills says, Lisa B, I rate the film 89. Hmm. Do you have any messages? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Tommy, Tommy OG on X says, uh, I watched Muri and Co. A story about a thief, uh, a thief who mistakenly stole a car with a child in it. He, however, takes care of the child because of the child's status but is wanted for kidnapping. Actors include Kunle Remy, Kiki, Bisola Ayola, amongst others, and he rates it 9 over 10. Thank you so much. It was quite detailed. I like I'm, go I'm going to actually watch this movie. Okay, so let me just talk about my movie. Mm -hmm. I have been seeing a TV series. I stumbled on it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. It's a six seasons drama, mm -hmm. and it started in 2018. It's titled The Resident. Mm. So basically, it's about um, a couple of young doctors who are trying to save lives and they try to defy the odds because mm. there are a lot of people who are trying to not allow people get free health. Mm. So they're trying to help people against the system that says if you don't have insurance, they try to do their best mm. before those in charge come to take them away. So it's a battle against death, life, time, and resources. And it's actually really interesting. It's pretty interesting to see young people try to save lives and go like the extra mile, mm. especially with all that's happening. And people have been saying, oh, we see doctors, dating nurses. Now you understand why that happens. Because some of them understand each other. You see people lose the love of their lives. Mm. You see marriages break, so relationships come to life, some break, and then some people get into depression, yeah. committing suicide, and then you find out, oh, it's actually not suicide. A lot of things happen. Just basically what happens in the emergency room and the operating room and in the four walls of a hospital. Mm -hmm. And I rate it 8 over 10 because I loved all the surgical scenes, ah. seeing the art, the archery, and everything. Fun fact, I, I wanted to become a doctor, but I ran away because of all that. All right, and with that, we've come to the end of What Are You Watching? We'll be back to update you with movies showing at the movies. How do you know it's a Tuesday on East Flash? Yes, you know, we've always got your back with everything movie related on Tuesdays. So if you're heading to the movies this week, keep it glued because it is time for Movies at the Movies. In Nollywood, when love strikes, a promising young footballer must choose between following his dream of soccer success and returning to college in order to support his family. Actors include Nasir Jemide, Osaz Igodaro, Bimbo Akintolas, Zubi Michael, Sunshine Roseman, Chooks Joseph, Jimmy Akinshola, amongst others. Mm. Amazing, amazing. I, yeah. I want to see this. Um, next up in Hollywood, Beetle Juice. After a family tragedy, three generations of the Deets family return home to Winter River. Still haunted by Beetlejuice, Lydia's life is turned upside down when her teenage daughter Astrid accidentally opens the portal to the afterlife. Actors include Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Katherine O'Hara, Jenna Ortega, Justin Thoreau, William Defoe, Danny DeVito, amongst others. <laughs> okay, that was very funny. Mm -hmm. I would love to watch it. Mm -hmm. And on that note, we say we have come to the end of the show for today. Maybe we should call it the Independence Day edition, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy Independence Day to you once again. And we're ending the show with this special one from the late Sound Sultan featuring Johnny Drill, and it is titled Motherland. I'm Lady Cat, have real hat left. And I did the show with the one and only Mr. Flynn. Bye guys, have a great holiday. So